Hi guys, today I'm here to show you how I packed for a two country trip over 10 days with just carry on. And I brought a full face of makeup, lots of clothes, and my vlogging equipment. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm super excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Neutrogena. There are two products from them that really made this a whole lot easier. I've also got a, just a bunch of other general packing tips, even if you're not trying to do the whole carry on game, even though. I so recommend it, but let's go ahead and get started. So I always like to start with my toiletry products just because it's a little bit easier than clothes. And one of the first tips that I'll mention is if you ever get any minis from samples or orders online or whatever it may be, holiday sets, especially coming up towards the holidays, I keep all of my minis for the most part in a drawer or in a container in a makeup bag just so that I have those to travel with, especially if it's products that I already have a full size of. Instead of using those up, I keep them for travel and it is so handy to have those around. Specifically, also, I would go out and buy a toothbrush and like a mini deodorant because those are two things that you're using right up until the last minute when you get on the plane and they can be forgotten if you're using it and it's in your washroom and then you head out the door and you've forgotten those items and they are quite essential. Uh, in, in keeping with the not forgetting things, I also have a list on my computer of all the things that I tend to forget, things like my contact lens case, extra contact lenses, any medication, my sleeping eye mask, different things like that that I really need for my trip, obviously passport, visa, those types of things, so that I can refer to that list, I can add to it. Sometimes I'll print it out and like cross it off as I'm packing, but I just kind of keep that on my island or my desk, and those are gonna be my big essential things that I always take on my trip, and that includes some of my vlogging equipment as well, and that's gonna take up more room, so if you're like, if I hadn't been vlogging, I wouldn't have taken my laptop, I wouldn't have taken like, SD cards and hard drives, so luckily you'll have some extra space there. When it comes to makeup, depending on where I'm going, if I'm going somewhere beachy, I pretty much don't take any makeup anymore, but because I was doing a couple days in London and then a few days in Rome, although I didn't wear any makeup in Rome, it was just too hot, uh, I did bring a full face of makeup because the London trip was with friends and I knew we'd be going out, so I always pack my makeup and I recommend you do the same in order of application. So I primer, I brought a tinted moisturizer this time and I brought it in a container because the container for that product is really big so that way I only brought what I needed because I only needed about five days of tinted moisturizer coverage and then so on and so forth and I brought one of every product with the exception of lips I brought a couple different options but again I kept it quite simple I brought a nude I brought a pink I brought an orange and I brought a red and I am wearing that face of makeup right now uh, if you're curious to see what that face looked like uh, or I also have vlogs from my London and Rome trips then when it came to brushes and for application, I brought a beauty sponge, I brought um, the brush that I love to use to blend out my concealer along to set my under eyes, powder brush, bronzer, blush, and highlight. Again, I packed that in the order of application because that way you're not gonna miss any steps. And I recommend that as well for like face and body too. That way you can lay it all out and see it all that way as opposed to just grabbing for things willy-nilly or grab for things willy-nilly and then lay them out in order just to double check. The star of the show for me was really the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen. You know how much I love the entire line, this sunscreen included. It comes in SPF 30 or 50 and both have really great light textures. I packed the 50 with myself and the reason that I brought this is because I used it as not only my sunscreen but I used it as my facial moisturizer because it contains hyaluronic acid and it's super hydrating but not greasy so I was able to wear it under makeup and I used it as my body moisturizer because it works on both my face and body which I cannot say for very many sunscreens so it really kind of ended up being a three-in-one although at home I would never really do that like I'll use my hydro boost body and face when I'm at home this really did a great job and because it is 88 milliliters of lotion it is able to be carry-on friendly because it's under a hundred milliliters that you can take so uh, it also left a little bit of room in my liquids bag in case I bought anything so it acted like a really great facial moisturizer in the morning I will put this on my face you can also reapply it throughout the the day of course again I used it on my body it gives a really nice sheen on the body too it's hydrating I'm getting my sun protection on both my face and body and the the biggest thing for me with this sunscreen is that it does not turn me purple it's <laughs> when it comes out on the skin it doesn't immediately look clear but when you rub it into your skin I never have an issue no matter how much color I have it never turns me purple it never feels heavy it never feels greasy uh, it does not clog your pores and like I said it can be used on both your face and body so it's super handy and NEMS likes 
it as well. So he used it on the trip too uh, because he did not pack any sunscreen because that's how he is. So when we met in Rome, I was like, start putting the sunscreen on your face. And this, along with the Neutrogena stick version of their sunscreen, are some of the onlys, only that he uses. So it was great that we could both use this. And again, like I said, packing in the order of usage, I kind of went out of order with that, but I always think, okay, at nighttime, I need to remove my makeup, then I need to cleanse my skin, then I need to moisturize. So, and then same thing in the morning. So I actually ended up picking these up on at the airport because I had forgotten them. So they're, they're quite readily available, but they are the Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. These are an absolute classic, but when I travel, I really used to pack like way, way, way too much stuff. And I realized that I need to be realistic. That should have been my step one, is really be realistic for, with yourself in terms of the makeup and the clothing you bring. I've never been on a trip where I've regretted not bringing something. I've only ever regretted bringing things unless it's like a super special event and I forgot something. Um, but these are great. They remove all types of makeup, face, lips, and eyes. So super easy at night. Honestly, sometimes I would just use these at night because you're wiped after a day of travel. Wiped, huh? Um, so these are just so simple. There's seven packs in uh, seven wipes in a pack sorry but they do come in all different sizes they have them in individual packs they've got them in some bigger packs as well and it's just so incredibly not only convenient but it's also effective because I do want to remove my makeup I don't want to you know mess up all the skincare that I do at home but I definitely don't go as in-depth with my skincare so these are a big time lifesaver so I use these to remove my makeup and then I also brought a cleanser with me I, I accidentally showed you the wrong uh, I brought I showed you two serums but I meant to show you one serum for the day and then I would use an oil at night night to hydrate my skin I wouldn't use the SPF at night uh, and then I also brought a lip mask for my uh, lips at night because I cannot go to sleep without that for my body products quite simple the only thing I brought was a loofah which a washcloth would probably be a better choice but I use a loofah and an actual shower gel sometimes Airbnbs will include those or you can always get like a mini one when you're there too depending on where you're going uh, you can pick up things when you're there too if you feel like you don't have room in your liquids container then you can pick something up when you're there but I did have the room for that this trip was the first time that I ever tried doing a blowout before my trip because if I have to wash my hair I need to bring like a leave-in conditioner and oil a curl definer I want to bring my blow dryer which is going to be tricky to to make work overseas so it's a whole thing so I got a blowout before this trip and it truly was awesome I had very little to do with my hair so I brought my flat iron and then I have a really great converter that also has a USB on it that's a super handy thing to have uh, if you don't have that and it's universal converter I guess or for the most part it has like a bunch of different countries on there it's a little bit hefty in size but that works really really good and because it has the USB in there you can charge like your phone and plug something into it at the same time which is so incredibly handy and then for my hair all I brought was dry shampoo and a little bit of dry oil because when I have a blowout it is very very low maintenance and although it rained in London I brought a hoodie so I was able to keep my hair um, from getting wet and it was just it saved me so much time. It saved me products to bring, and I really, really liked it. It's not always the case. Like, it's not always gonna be, like I'm going away soon. I'm probably not gonna get a blowout before because I just don't wanna have to, I don't know. It's a double-edged sword. In some ways it's easier, in some ways it's not, but I, I definitely felt it kind of helped me on this trip. Then of course you're gonna need to take a couple little random things. So I brought my toothpaste as well. And as you'll see, I kept out some of the liquids. I do hold on to some of the liquid bags that they have at the airport. I'll grab a couple extra. I've put it in my own bag, the liquids, and sometimes it's been fine, but then there's been other times where they make me take it all out. And there's been other times where they like count my mascara and my regular lipsticks as liquids. And they're like, if you melt it down. So on this trip and when I'm traveling, when things are really, really tight and I had a lot of things to pack, I wanted to make sure that I was really following the rules because there was no way I could like open my luggage and move things around like it was a whole game of Tetris so I really really stuck to the rules but it really depends on different airports like sometimes I've gotten away with it not even not even having too many liquids but just having it in my own bag other times they like make you take it out and it's a whole thing so it's kind of up to you uh, just to decide how you want to go with that and then I've also started taking because I did bring a purse and a little book bag but because I had my carry-on luggage and a book bag I didn't want to wear a purse again and just in case they counted that as like a second personal item which you're not really allowed to have like my personal item was my book bag and then my luggage so I've started taking like a mini little 
kind of like a larger size coin purse in which I keep my um, my little mini wallet with my cards and my money. Then I also keep a lip balm in there, some gum, some hand sanitizer. Also carry a pen, which is handy to have, especially depending on the country you're flying to, if you need to fill out a customs card. And then I kept in there some little, these little wipes for like anti-frizz in your hair, some hair elastics, just a couple little essentials that I know I'm gonna be reaching for, uh, and my headphones as well, so that I can just easily reach the for that out of my bag and I put my passport in the inside sleeve of my book bag so that you know nobody can yoink it out of the front. On this trip as well I also wore press-on nails because it was a 9-10 day trip and I didn't want to have to worry about uh, painting my nails or bringing nail polish. Right now I'm actually I've been playing around with getting shellac done on my nails so that has been super handy but I did bring a couple of extra nails and some extra glue and I find press-ons last on me quite well. I wore them throughout the entire trip and if one popped off I had my glue and just put it back on or brought extra nails and that way my nails looked really good throughout the whole trip but really I didn't have to do much of anything. And just before we get into the clothing I want to say print off any of your boarding passes or anything like that if you get nervous about it. I generally just keep it on my phone but print off any tickets or any itineraries confirmations that you have for the trip too. On this trip I, for I printed off our tickets to the Spice Girls and left them on my table and then five minutes into my Uber ride realized I didn't have them but Fun fact, at Pearson in Terminal 3, there's a place where you can print things off for free, and I did that, but <laughs> don't be me and print off make sure you print off your Spice Girls tickets. But let's go ahead and get into the clothes. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through what I took. One thing that I did for this trip that I normally don't do is I actually tried on clothing, which I always say, oh, I'm gonna try on all my outfits before my trip, and I almost never actually do it. I start and get bored or annoyed, <laughs> but this time I actually did it, and I think it really, really, really helped. And just making sure to pack things that were a little bit more um, multi-use, and again, being realistic. So for this trip, and even if you're going on a trip and you don't necessarily want to try on all your outfits it seems like a big hassle if you have something specific that you're going to at least kind of plan those outfits out because I've got I've been in that situation before where I'm like oh I knew I had this concert or I knew I had this event and I didn't really think to pack anything specifically for that so I packed this kind of white overall dress for the Spice Girls concert and then I knew we'd be going to some kind of high tee so I packed the orange striped skirt that was a little bit flowy and the white crop top to go with that and then I also packed uh, to wear with that skirt at the Vatican a plain white t-shirt that covered my shoulders because you need to be a little bit more modestly dressed there so those were three outfits that I definitely had kind of in mind and as you'll notice, I have packing cubes, which again are really, really handy for me, even just for organization's sake, I find it really handy. And I also put all my bras and underwear in um, packing cubes, and I like to bring these little kind of silicone covers to wear on days where I don't wanna wear a bra because it was super warm and uh, they don't take up very much space. When it comes to shoes, I was uh, only going to take two pairs of shoes at first. I ended up taking four, which is a little ridiculous, but I have the um, black shoes that I'll show you that are packed to, uh, that I wore on the plane. We'll talk about that momentarily. Then I have my Converse that I wore pretty much every day in London, the snakeskin shoes that I wore to the Spice Girls concert, and then these rose gold sandals that I wore in Rome. But I also wore my black sandals quite a bit, or my black sh sneakers quite a bit in Rome too. So I brought a pair of light jeans, black jeans, two different jumpsuits, and then a couple of dresses. So a black dress, my yellow dress, and then that kind of beige dress. And then I also brought these beige pants, which I didn't end up wearing, and a silk skirt, which I shouldn't have brought because it just got too wrinkled. If you are away and your clothing gets wrinkled, you can hang it up while you're showering. The steam might loosen the wrinkles a little bit and then packing that up into the cube. And then I brought a bunch of different shirts and bodysuits. So a beige bodysuit, orange bodysuit, black and white crop tops, a black bodysuit, that, that green shirt I didn't end up wearing and packed that up. That's actually gonna go in my carry-on. And then I brought a couple of like the white t-shirt that I mentioned, but black shorts, I, a pink t-shirt, another kind of tie-dyed shirt, and then those spandex shorts I wore kind of lazing around but also under dresses to prevent chub rub, and uh, then a comfy long shirt and my belt to style with a couple of dresses and whatnot. So then just kind of packing it all in there, as you'll see I also added in a jean jacket, and then I brought my mini purse and my mini book bag. I needed the mini book bag just because I was vlogging and then I sat on top of it and jammed it all in there. And then when it comes to my carry-on, again, you wanna be semi-strategic if you're really 
packing a lot of stuff in there. So what I did was I put the packing cube that had the shirts right at the bottom because I knew I wouldn't be reaching for that along with my computer cord down there. Then I put in that little thing has all of my vlogging equipment in there, my makeup, I put my shoes down the side, then I put in that little container there has just medication, extra contact lenses, contact lens solution, that kind of stuff, bobby pins, my toothbrush and deodorant. Then I put in my loofah along with my vlogging camera, liquids, and then the mini bag. So I want the liquids in the mini bag at the top because those are things I know I'm gonna be reaching for at security or just things I might need because because everything was packed in there so tightly, I really had to be strategic about the way that I packed that as well. And then finally, I always lay out my clothes that I'm gonna be wearing to fly. And because it was an overnight flight, I wanted to be comfortable. So I brought, I put out bra, underwear, and socks, of course. Then I put leggings. I would have worn jeans if it wasn't an overnight flight. And then kind of a loose tank top. I put a hoodie on over that because I knew it would rain in London and nothing else I had had a hood and I had straight hair that needed to be protected along with my leather jacket because that is the biggest piece of clothing that's in there. And then I also brought a scarf because that was super comfy for the flight, although I don't sleep on flights, but it was nice to have because that is a little bit uh, cold to wear on the flight. I also brought sunglasses. Those are in the front pouch of my book bag. I probably left a couple things out here, but I think I got to most of it. So I think that's everything. Mostly I would say just be realistic is the most important thing. Uh, and you know, I, I know that I probably didn't do a perfect job. There's definitely other ways I could have went about it, but this is how I did it for that trip and it worked out. And I'm so glad that I packed carry on because it just makes things so easy, especially if you have connecting flights or like even when we arrived in London, getting from the airport to our Airbnb, like it was an hour and a half journey of subways and stairs and stuff. And if I had massive luggage, I don't know if I would have made it and an Uber cost like 200 pounds. So I would have either been broke or like broke my back trying to carry all that luggage. So although it can be a little bit of a hassle in the packing portion. I always, always appreciate it when I'm away and I never ever miss anything while I'm away besides the fact that I forgot those Spice Girl tickets. So thank you so much for watching. If you have yet to try the Hydro Boost SPF or the All-in-One Makeup Remover Wipes, although they are both classics, you've probably tried them, but if you haven't, they will be linked down below. Like I said, they were products that really, really helped me kind of pare everything down for this trip. So thank you so much for watching and thank you to Neutrogena for sponsoring this video and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJNYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!